All right, coming in after a very quick first set, moving right along here. In the bottom left, the purple Zerg is Predator. Does Predator have fancy? Sp no, it does not have fancy capitalization. Appreciate it. All right, and that's seven o'clock position. And in the top right, as the teal Protoss, we have Fold, and he is the two o'clock position reset the score and bring up that overlay all right so fold oh has already had a great showing in nation wars um last week when asia pacific had a very nice showing they didn't quite pull it out but a very nice showing versus undefeated russia fold was able to defeat ttf which was a very a very nice win for Fold. Um, but he's going to go up against another really talented player, a Predator. Old school Polish Zerg. Uh, uh oh. I don't know where this is going. Anyway. We have the probe coming into Scout. And nothing yet for Predator. He's got his second Overlord up. It's going to be a 12 pool or a 12 hatch. I'm kind of expecting it to be a 12 hatch. Um, which means Fold can be quite greedy with the timing of his Nexus here. If he so desires, and yeah. Um, ooh. It looks like Fold wanted to try to block the uh, hatchery from going down. He had a probe waiting here, then realized it had been too long. Came back up and realized that a probe, er, that a drone had already snuck out. So, a little bit unfortunate for Fold there, not being able to block that. Hmm. Alright. So there's the Swanning Pool. Now, I'm going to talk about these two teams in terms of standings in the league. Right now, we have, uh... These two teams have not been doing so well. Asian Pacific's only 0-1, because they've only had one game finished. They still have to play Eastern Europe, and this is uh, their third game. But Poland is 0-2 now. They ha they lost versus Eastern Europe, and they lost versus Russia. Both of them surprising results. If Asia with Pacific was to defeat Poland, and Poland does the unthinkable and goes 0-3, they're almost eliminated. Like, it's, it's, they're not mathematically eliminated, but he's getting really close to being completely eliminated. Like, if they sweep, they only get three and three. That may or may not be good enough. On the other side, if Poland's able to win today, it's, it's a difficult road for all the teams still. Then it becomes Russia's on top with a very nice and clean uh, three and out. And the other teams are kind of just all in there, vying for that second place spot. You'll have in... Excuse me. You'll have in... Wow, I can't get it out. You'll have Eastern Europe at 1-1. One one, you'll have Asia Pacific at 0-2. And, and you'll have Poland at 1-2. And, and depending on how Asia Pacific versus Eastern Europe goes, they could all be 1-2. and two Going into the next stretch. So, if Asia Pacific wins then Poland may very well be eliminated this week right here. If Asia Pacific loses, it's a it's a big scrum. It's a big scrum between all the teams. So, uh, we have Predator. He's going for the mineral only. Mineral only does not have um does not have the gases Zergs really like. So, Predator thinking Hydralisks? I'm guessing that Predator's going to be going for Hydralisks. Match point is kind of an awkward map for Zerg players. You have to choose between taking this base that has absolutely no protection and no gas, or take this base that has very little in terms of uh, SimCity capabilities, and is very far away from anything you want to do. It's... It's an awkward choice for a Zerg player to be picking between those two. Hmm. Alright, 
So, Lair's coming up for Predator. It's looking like he wants to, at the moment, it looks like he's not going to deviate from, uh, yeah, there it is. He is going to be going three hatch fire, but three hatch fire off of only two gases. It means he's going to be a little bit strained for gas, probably can't make as many scourge as he wants to. Might have to delay a couple of upgrades in there. It will be interesting to see how he's using his excess minerals, uh, possibly for a very strong ling force, as this map does not have any ramps. And it can be just as difficult for Protoss to take a third base as it is for Zerg. So if you have a lot of lings, it can be a real deterrent from doing that. Meanwhile, from Fold, we are uh, starting plus one upgrades, and now we have a double Stargate. So double Stargate into immediate Templar Archives. We're skipping over speed, we're skipping over plus one, and we are putting all of our resources right now into tech. Interesting. I think that this can work out really well versus what uh, Predator's trying to do because Predator might just not have enough he, pr he won't have enough Scourge to really deal with this. Ooh. Ah, uh, Fold finally loses Scouting Probe. How close did he get to killing the drone? Oh, not at all. Just wasn't paying attention. Alright. So, uh, hatchery of four, and there's hatchery five going down. So Predator is playing this very standard, just without the extra gas. Which is a very aggressive Corsair build. We've gotten our first, uh, we got the first Overlord that was hanging around the base, but that's uh, not even close to what Fold's going to be capable of here. He needs to be getting the Corsairs out, and should be starting pretty soon with the Corsair harass. Can wait a little bit longer. But once he gets up to um, four, five, really, he's at four now, so he can wait until five pretty, well, I guess it's going to be six because he's finished at the same time, but once he gets up to that number, he really needs to start moving. Um, once the Hydro Scout gets too high, it's just so hard to harass, and you can kill Overlords very quickly, but it starts becoming costly every time you go in. If you go now, it's uh, harder for Predator to be able to defend everything at the same time. And that's an Overlord speed. Hmm. An early Overlord speed from Predator here, it's a really smart move, as he's going to be having to deal with the Dark Templar and with uh, so many Corsairs. Going to keep those Overlords alive much long... Really? Wow. Ah, uh, Scourge. Not the, uh, not the most intelligent unit in StarCraft. No, there's, a uh... Might not have quite the most efficient pathing. In terms of killing stuff. Alright. So, do... Oh. Wow. That's... That's exactly what Fold can't afford to be doing. And why the Corsairs need to be getting out early. To avoid having to fly over Hydralis like that. Fold just lost two Corsairs. And I don't even think he killed an... Did he kill an... No, no, not a single one of these Corsairs to kill. He did not kill a single Overlord, and he lost two Corsairs. If you're in, if you're going double Stargate and getting the plus one, you need to be doing a lot more damage than this, Fold. Not a strong start for him, and wow. Not keeping the Corsairs bunched up. <sighs> this is not going to be going well. At least he has the Corsairs, and he has a DT on the ramp. So the Overlords, oh, getting one of them. Is the other one going to get sniped? He has to go and snipe it. He has to sacrifice a little bit of the Corsair's health there. Definitely worth it that time. The Overlords were already uh, partly injured. They were some of the Overlords that had been harassed. So combination of those with the DTs will be able to ward off in another Corsair, excuse me, another Scourge hit on the Corsair. And he totally could have got that one. That one that's out front. Alright, but it looks like Predator's pulled back, um, stopping with the attack. There are some High Templar out already, which would have made that attack a little bit difficult to begin with, and Storm is done. Hmm. Alright, uh, the Corsairs are flying over once again, and Fold, being quite careless with the Corsairs, he might even get another hit here, the Scourge... 
The Scourge are closing in. That .03 extra speed will be enough to get the Corsair. Couldn't quite fly fast enough. Man, Fold has gotten so little done with these Corsairs. And Predator, he's built some Scourge. And he hasn't had a whole lot of gas, so it has been costly to him in that in that way, but certainly, certainly Predator is getting the better end out of this air-to-air -air exchange here. Uh, DT out in the middle of the map. It took a couple hits, so they should notice. Oh, dealing with the DT in the main. Or the natural. Uh, there we go. He should have noticed that there was a DT and the Overlord was just on its way over. Alright. So, we don't have plus one. Plus one's halfway done. We don't have speed. Speed's about 70% done. And I mean, that... Those were so late because of everything he invested into these things. And it's just going to make everything slow for him for the, from here on out the rest of the game. He's just not going to quite have the gas count he really wants. Quite have the upgrades he really wants. Uh, that was a pretty early evolution chamber for Predator. Or... It's the it's normally time evolution chamber, but Zergs tend to get their evolution chambers quickly. He, he's already at plus one. And he'll have plus one armor by the time that Fold's plus one attack finishes. Does Fold even have observers? I don't think I've seen a robo. I we have not seen a robo. Oh boy, Fold. The strategy is not working out. The strategy is not working out at all. This lurker can't get that close. It's actually in range and wow! Did you see that? The lurker totally baited the storm. It ran in and then ran out right before the High Templar got the storm down and the High Templar only stormed his own units. Oh, that sick lurker. It baited. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. They, they, they can't have been intentional. But that was sick. All right, so we have cannons down. We still have this one Corsair, but really the one Corsair is not gonna do a whole lot. The cannons probably will be enough with support units and with some storm there. We have speed lots moving across the other side of the map. Speed's done, plus one's done now. There is no SimCity here that's going to help out a little bit for the Zealots getting in here, but can they quite do enough damage against this early crack? Predator put some of that gas towards an early hive, and now we're starting to see it pay off. The Zealots immediately pull out after seeing that. And does he have any other uh, hive tech? Oh, yes, he does. He has a Defiler Mount and an Ultralisk Cavern. I'm surprised that he has so many of these. He won't be able to use them all. Just because he only has a third gas up now, and he doesn't qu quite even have the fourth. Zealots trying to come in to snipe the hatchery, not going to be able to get it down. He's not going to quite be able to use both of these to their full extent, but he has the option. He can go in either direction he wants now, and... Man. T Stargates. Not the biggest fan of the double Stargates. Alright. So, nice. Um, still looking at the upgrades. We're at 1-1 one, one for everything. Uh, the links have 1-1 one, one as well. And it looks like he's getting a um, he's getting an extra Hydralisk upgrade. Now getting extra Carapace and getting the uh, Ling attack. But I'm surprised that he's continuing with the uh, Hydralisk and Lurker upgrades. You normally don't see a Zerg player get continue to get there don't you get to hive he has the evolution chambers for it it's not as if he's delaying his plus one but normally that's just 200 gas you could have put towards an ultralisk and ultralisk are pretty nice you play researching he's getting so many upgrades seriously that's one two three four five simultaneous upgrades and those upgrades are not coming cheap that's at least a thousand gas a thousand gas tied up in upgrades right now it means his army is going to be strong, but man, it's not even cutting that much of his supply. His supply is already up at 180. 
compared to 150 for the Protoss. Protoss is now going to try to break out. That Lurker actually managed to do a lot of damage there with the Splash, just based on how the units were lining up, and the Dragoons were not killing it very quickly. But now it looks like Predator wants to move in. He doesn't have Swarm, so this won't be able to kill Fold, but he is doing a lot of damage to the Dragoon count. Fold falling by 20 supply, where Predator has not really dropped. Maybe, maybe dropping by 10 here. Man, this is this is just kind of sad watching the dragoons trying to kill the hydralisks up on the high ground. They're managing to dodge so much now, getting baited down, and the cannons will be able to pick them off. But still, a decent trade for Predator. Really, anything that's not horribly negative for Predator is positive for Predator at this point because he can just make units so quickly. Looks like Fold's going to give it a shot in another direction. Lurkers are in great position to do damage here, but he doesn't have that many. So if Fold commits here, he is going to be able to push through. But now Predator's coming in. He has a Defiler and an Ultralisk. I guess the one Defiler is going to be enough. With the Ultralisk laying in wait. Surprise. Surprise cow from the back. Um. Okay. So, not the most coordinated defense from Predator we've ever seen, but it's just good enough. He just has so much, he's such an advantage there. There was nothing Fold could do. Gotta get damage done with the Corsairs. Absolutely have to get damage done with the Corsairs if you're gonna invest that heavily of them. Game was over as soon as he didn't. And Bach, are you echoing my sentiments? Nice. All right, game number two, Fighting Spirit. So, in the bottom right, at the yellow Protoss, is Fold of Asia Pacific, Control X, Control V. And as the red Zerg in the top right, we have Predator. There we go. Predator and Fold. Now, no, oh, whoops. What? Why? Why is it coming up here? Oh, because I still have that checked. There we go. Got it. Figuring it out. So, now when Fold had his, uh, if I do remember correctly, when Fold had his upset last week versus TTF, it was all, it was also a two-one. So, f don't quite count Fold out of it yet. He can still come back here, and. Predator definitely is a rusty player. Not active at all, uh, certainly compared to what he used to be. And according to game, this is his worst matchup. I got tricked last game? Thought you were going Mutas! <laughs> why, why would you think he was going Mutas? He only had two gas. Why would you go Mutas off of two gas? This isn't, this isn't PVT, or ZVT. Oh, uh, I was wrong. Apparently it was a 2-0 versus TTF. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so you have a little modesty competition between the two right now. Ooh, ooh, we're canceling our forge. All right, interesting. Um, he saw the twelve hatch. I guess just in the nick of time before the forge canceled, he's gonna be able to get the nexus down just a little bit faster. He could have started it a like, it's like this much. Like, on my screen, I'm trying to mark off with my mouse. Like, just those three little pixels. Not really pixels, but three little notches is how much he got that Nexus out faster. Because he only got an extra 100 minerals by canceling the forge. Or, about 100. A little bit more than 100. Huh. He really wanted that... really wanted that Nexus. Alright. I guess it's... 
technically more economical to cancel the forge and then rebuild it. Cybercore. Uh, putting the Cybercore here so that um, Zerglings can't do run bites. Because theoretically, if uh, Predator had a lot of links, he could sneak them along this wall up around the geyser and down this side and then up the ramp. But with the Cybercore here, the links are at least trapped back here and you can keep them out of your main. It makes it a lot easier to deal with if the links can't quite get everywhere. Nice little trick players have picked up. Especially on Fighting Spirit. So, Predator's third hatchery is almost done, and he's getting his lair, looking very similar to how last game went uh, for him. And we'll keep an eye on Fold and see exactly how many Stargates he gets, but certainly diverging now. Going for the Citadel first, and then another gateway. Okay. So, this probe will build a third gateway. There we go. Third gateway going down. And fold. It's gonna go the complete opposite. Last game, star two Stargate Corsair with upgrades, and those did not work. So this game, not gonna make a single Corsair. It's fine. We're gonna go three gate speed lot. Three gate speed lot with an early plus one. Oh, okay. I thought for a second it was a fourth gateway, but no, fourth gateway doesn't come for a little while longer. Just a little bit longer. Alright. For Predator, he's moving his lings down. Fold has been pretty greedy in terms of cannons. He's only just getting his second cannon up now. And that's quite nice for the Protoss player if you can afford to do that. But the lings are going to have a crack at trying to break through this wall. There are two zealots just to... They don't... They don't need to be killed to get through. Obviously, the probes are making up the majority of this block. But uh, the zealots will be able to do a lot of damage. And, ooh, even a pylon being thrown down. That's actually going to be quite helpful here. And with a third zealot coming out, yeah, that's just going to be too much for a predator to deal with. In fact, if he really wants to, he can cancel this pylon. I don't think it's necessary anymore. But he, he needs a pylon anyway, so it's fine. Alright, so next hatchery is going down. And did we have a spire? Uh, we did have a Spire, but it was a Spire after the Hydralis Den. We're going for very fast Lurkers. Hmm. Not something you see too commonly in a ZVP. But in this case, it's going to work out brilliantly. Because Fold wants to kill him with Zealots really early. He is not. He's just getting a Stargate now. He's not going to have a Robo for a very long time. So if the Lurkers can come out before the Zealots attack... Which it doesn't look like they're going to be able to as the Zelts are going now. The speed's done, plus one should be coming soon. A very quick plus one. I thought he'd go for a stronger attack rather than, uh, than favoring a quicker one, but no. He's catching me by surprise and clearly catching Predator by surprise too. As none of these sunken colonies are done. Some of them are even creep colonies. Alright, first sunken colonies finished. The Zealots are doing damage here. They're going to be able to get down the second sunken colony. And now this is looking very bad for Predator. As this sunken colony is not going to be able to do a whole lot, there is no real Sim City here. He didn't have time to even throw down the Evo Chamber. And there are no lurkers on the way to help out. It's not GG for Predator quite yet, as he does have that lurker tech, and the lurker tech does hard does hard counter what Predator's trying to do, but this is a lot of damage from Fold. I think I said Predator there. Um, it does hard counter what Fold's trying to do, but this is a lot of damage right here. And Predator. I'm surprised he's trying to save this. He, he can't. He now just has a creep colony here that he's making into a sunken, and that's going to die too. I think that that was a desperation move, and there's simply way too many zealots. So, now what is he going to be able to do with his lurkers? Um, wow, really? 
I'm surprised Fold went for double star getting in. I saw him building the one, but no. Nah. Still going with double star getting in. Yeah. He's, he's expecting Mutalisks again, apparently. When his opponent... Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Zelts are coming in, though. They want to do damage here. This base doesn't have the best of SimCities either, but it should be enough. The, it looks like some of the Zealot numbers were decreased, and uh, they're certainly all injured after so much fighting. Yeah, getting really nothing here. And quite nice for Predator. He's going to hide the Lurker tech. Uh, none of the Zealots saw any Lurker eggs morphing, so he doesn't know what's coming. And it's just going to mean he delays the Robo for even longer. He's vesting all of his gas into Stargate, Stargate, Cor six Corsairs up now with the plus one. He fold... You know I say he's vesting all his gas into that? Fold actually has a lot of gas right now. Hmm. I was not expecting him to be so high in gas. So I guess he will have the gas once he realizes that the Lurkers are coming, but how long will it take him to realize that? There's a lot of Lings out. So we're gonna have the uh, makings for Lurker Ling Vest. Oh, he realizes it. This Zealot sees the Lurker. Zealot is running away from the Lurker as the Lurker attempts to chase him down. I mean, Lurkers are harmless when they're not burrowed, but they still look pretty fearsome. If I was a Zealot, I'd run away from that thing. It's pretty scary looking. But I guess that's why I'm not a Zealot. I, I guess I'd make a pretty good StarCraft 2 Zealot. Um, yeah, a little bit unfortunate losing your first Lurker like that. I thought he was making more than just one. One of the Corsairs goes down to Scourge. Why is he not using all of his Corsairs? Or was that all of his Corsairs? He just lost all of them? I mean, none of the Scourge are here, and there were a lot of Scourge. Man. There are no more Corsairs. That was six Corsairs, and he lost all of them but one. And then two more came. Did he just really lose five Corsairs? No, it had to be three. It had to be three Corsairs to Scourge, but still. Like, fold. Dude, Corsairs. They're not working out for you. Just, just stop making them. It's okay. You can do it on the ground. You do need Observers. Observers would be helpful to try to hold off this Lurker Ling bust. Alright, so Zealous coming in again. Looks like a full control group of them. There is one Lurk, two Lurkers here. So the Lurkers, ooh, they're going to do a lot of damage to these Zealous. The Zealots are not spreading out. Zealots just need to run away from the Lurkers. They obviously can't do any damage to them, but there are a lot of drones just lined up here to be taken out. Zealots are a little bit confused as to what they want, they want to go for. Some of them going for the, for the drones, some of them going for the sunken colony. And they should be able to kill off all the drones here. It's going to make it so that this isn't the worst trade in the world for... The worst trade in the world for Fold. He's killed off a lot of drones and some sunken colonies. This is just zealots at the end of the day. So I think that this attack is relatively successful here. Ooh. Lots of zealots going down. They were uh, uh, all injured by the lurker splash. Pretty good for him there. Now on the other side, we do have uh, Lurkers trying to work down the wall. Going to be taking out the gateway and the pylon. Uh, it's a slow, slow process. Plus one's finished, but only four Corsairs? He's not even continuing to make them. And it looks like we have one Dragoon that's stuck. Now we have three Dragoons that are stuck. <laughs> Unless they can get through the probe line. Alright, so Observer's out now, ooh, but he gets scourged down and one of the Lurkers remains. With more Lurkers coming in now. Uh, the Dragoons are going to have to pull back. There is another Observer out. There's still Scourge though. Can he can he see the Observer? Does he, does he know that it's at the front? Yeah. Nah, he's not going to quite be able to do it. There's still one Lurker left though, so the Dragoons, really the Dragoons aren't very good at killing off the Scourge, just because of the, how slow the animation is. <sighs> Especially when the observers that far out, they're not gonna be very skirt, very good. Uh, not compared to the cannons. So, really, it would be nice if the observers did not have to get that far out. But man, this is this is costing Fold so much to try to break out of this. It's already three observers down, and now he's uh, starting to lose dragoons too. He's already lost some. <sighs> Meanwhile, back at Predator's base though, he's at hive and fifty supply. It's fine. It's fine. 
It's fine, you only have 44 supply and you're getting defilers. Uh, not, not doing so hot, economically. Fold, it's got its expansion out here, and there's not really a contain. So there's nothing preventing Fold, yeah. Looks like he's coming down now to set up his third base. He'll start to mine out pretty soon here, but his economic situation isn't that bad off. He hasn't lost any probes. It's just a matter of a lack of expanding. So, uh, 50 supply to 117. It's going to be a hard battle, but we've seen Predator snipe a lot of observers here. And it's, it's got to be what he's going to do. He needs counterattacks, or flanks, however you want to look at it, along with observer snipes. And man, more Corsairs going down. He's just having terrible luck with these. And here come the links from the back. The links have crack. The links have only one armor, but that's good enough to deal with the zealots that only have one attack. How much damage can these links do from behind? The dragoons are just going to fall so quickly to them. And wow, is this really going to work? Is this really going to work from Predator? A great flank at just the right time? And all the Dragoons are going down. The Zealots have all died. Probes are... Their drones are being pulled to block the ramp. There will be a hatchery that falls. But this is huge for Fold. This is such... He had a, such a big a supply lead. And it was all contained in the Goons. Look, Predator's lost 9 supply in the course of this battle. And Fold has lost 40. A great, great counterattack coming in from behind. It ha does have to do a little bit with the fact that Fold's army was Dragoon heavy, and the fact that Predator got crack. It should also be considered, but that surround from behind, brilliantly executed, and Predator, he's not quite dead yet. He's got Hive Tech. How much of a supply deficit does that overcome? I don't know. But he's got Hive Tech. Uh, meanwhile, on this side, he does not have a fancy. Ca Ooh, he doesn't have a fancy counterattack, but he does have oh, lurkers that were living for quite a while. The oh, d that was a double observer snipe. The scourge split up. There were two explosions there. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna quite be enough. He only had two lurkers, and they couldn't. They just needed to live a little bit longer, and he might have been able to do something here. Although there is a high templar that would have made things difficult. Uh, lings would prefer to not have to deal with the beefed up Archon. It doesn't quite one shot yet, but it nearly does. Alright. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Darn. I thought Fold I thought Fold was just gonna be like, hey, what map can I pick? You can pick Jade. This is your option. You're only allowed to pick the new iteration of Fighting Spirits, and that is all. <laughs> Alright. So, Predator GG's, we are tied up one to one, going into game number three. And Fold, I was wrong about saying he got a 2 1 last week, but he did get an upset last week, 2 0. He might just get another one here against Predator. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A loser pick destination. A loser pick destination. In the top position, that is 12 o'clock, is Fold as the TL... Oh! Fold! Fold! Go too fast, bro. Stop, stop, stop. All right, bottom position, Predator, six o'clock. Luckily, I didn't have to change that one. All right, Fold, you were not the loser. You were not the loser, you're not allowed to do this. Fold, Fold, you won. You're supposed to think that, you're supposed to have confidence, Fold. You're not supposed to succumb to the temptation. Um, kind of. Predator was a little bit slow with the defenses, but Fold went for an early attack. Um, Predator m might have known that it was an early attack, and then he got his timing wrong for that, but Fold did jump the gun a bit, and Predator might have been in time. Uh, I don't know if he realizes that, and whether he goes back into the replay, he might notice. Oh, he totally skipped Stargate. But... 
Ask him where he's from. Ask him where he's from, Fold. Cheesy son of a bitch. Alright. So. You notice the probe did cut inside a little bit. Part of that has to do with pathing, but Fold might have made it just a little bit more pronounced. Just to make sure that the Overlord wouldn't see. Always a good idea. Ooh, Predator. Predator's going over pool. Okay. If he's going nine pool, I there could be an advantage for him. He, he might just have enough stuff to live. Oh. Why did he build it here? Um. Whoops. I did the wrong one. If. If Fold had built the gateway on this side, the second Overlord wouldn't have seen. Not gonna matter. Um. Yeah, I think that the drone would have figured it out anyway as it was chasing the probe around. And not throwing down another pylon. Alright. So, uh, look like Bakio has the right idea in the chat, and Predator's gonna be doing it too. Uh, th getting in the creep colony. If you can get a good defense here, and do some good drone drills to defend the sunken, a lot of the uh, same way you would do in a ZBZ. If you play it like that, then just attack with six links. There's nothing here to defend. These probes are naked. Like, really naked. Pred Predator just needs to sure up his own base, and then bum rush the naked probes. The sexy, sexy naked probes. You know, you know he wants to. You know he wants to. There he goes. There he goes. He knows what's up. Those lings want those naked probes. Hmm. Ling probe slash fic? Oh. That has to exist somewhere. It's probably in Korean, but I, I'm pretty sure it exists somewhere. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, Fold... Fold has some problems. Fold has some problems. He's sending two zealots back, but the lings are faster than the zealots. Like, all the probes are going to be dead before the zealots get there. Oh, uh, the probes are coming off the line. They have to try to defend their nexus. Gotta defend the nexus. He hasn't lost, like, any yet. Okay, now he's starting to lose some. Um, keep in mind the Fold hasn't been making co probes constantly, and that's why the count is so low. It's not as if he's been losing a bunch of them. The Zealots make it back. Can Fold not die? Is that possible here? It looks like the, Z the Zealots have rotated down to the ramp in Predator's main. So he wants to stop any more Lings from getting out. It's a smart move. But it looks... Uh, I don't know if he has enough probes. He has been losing some now. He's lost like half of them. Oh, uh, but he has a bunch. Like, more than I thought he would at this point. On the other side, Predator, duh, that's like an even number? Is that right? It's 15 supply compared to 24. And obviously the Zealots take up more supply than the Lings do. It might be pretty even economy at this point. It's not quite over yet. And it really just comes down to fold... I either a lack from Predator or just really nice probe control from Fold, but Predator should have been able to get more probe kills before the Zealots got back. Oh, he's going for an attack. Oh, he, he has to stay away from the Sunkins. He cannot handle the Sunkins right now. Uh, but doing some nice micro there. Doing some nice micro, keeping the Zealots alive. Oh, there come the Lings. Everything's injured. Oh, three blow up at the same time. It's a constant wave of lings. Without reinforcement, Fold can't hold this forever. It's all these, yeah, all these zealots are gonna go down now. But does, he has more zealots coming. He does have more zealots coming. Oh, can't afford to make anything else. There are two zealots at the ram that'll block any more lings from coming up, and it looks like he's getting a forge. Can we follow it up with a cannon rush? Oh, these are very vulnerable. Pylon cannon. Cannon pylon cannon. Oh. Oh, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Alright, fold. He, he does have some nooks here. He, some nooks he can, yeah, he can do that with the zealots. He can just have one-on-one. -on -one, one zealot versus one lang. That's what he wants. Really? 
he might just be trying to stall here. He kind of he would like to keep these alive, but if he if he does want to try to sneak a probe out, then he's just trying to stall with the zealots here until he can get a probe down and start making cannons. That is a lot of links, though. Oh, the zealots trying to find good positions. Oh, but the zealots are just too surrounded. Too surrounded, and it looks like uh, one more zealot coming out. But yeah, finally, Predator is going to be able to finish this off. Wow, that's all it wasn't even attacking. It was trying to find the nook, but like, did the worst position possible in that it was being attacked by five lings and couldn't and wasn't even bothering to fight back. So these gateways aren't going to make anything else. This is it for Fold in terms of his cheese. Now he has to play it standard. So 25 supply compared to 18. Could be worse. It could be worse. What what is he gonna do now? He's got the assimilator. Alright. So going assimilator, he's gonna go get some kind of one base tech going. Pretty much his only option here. It was going to be rather difficult to start getting um excuse me. It's going to be rather difficult to get that expo up with how many links he's seen. He has seen. So, Predator should realize this. He should realize this one base tech. He's had an overlord in here for a while, and it looks like it's coming back in now. And, ooh, liking this. I'm liking this move a lot from Predator. He can't use his links for anything else right now. Fan out. Look at every crevice of the map. Make sure that there's no proxy robo or something really stupid like that. Make sure there's no proxy expo. Just, uh, just look around. Just look around. <sighs> okay. I actually, I don't use this too much anymore. Actually, I'm not even sure how to bring it up. Is it... Yeah, there we go. Nope. Not that button. Okay. Um, So, 22 to 23. And the worker count. That's all I really wanted to look at right now. Pretty identical worker counts. Which, that does tend to favor Zerg a little bit. Zerg's in the better position here. Without a doubt. But... It's just, it's not as bad of a position for Fold as it should be. Pull, Fold really microed his heart out there with the probes. And it's keeping him in this game. He's, he's working from a little bit of a disadvantage, but he's in it. For now. He really does need to figure out a way to get an expo, though. Because Predator's going to be taking an expo pretty soon, I imagine. And he already has his natural up. That's been up for quite a while. We do have two hatch, well, not two hatch, but two base muta from Predator. Most likely. There are additional cannons going up. Well, an additional cannon going up. Ooh. What? DT drop? No, because he hasn't started this citadel. What are you doing, Fold? Reaver? Non Corsair Reaver? Just Zealot Reaver? What? That doesn't make sense either. Why are you making a shuttle? Is he going to bulldog the Zerg? I like it. The rarely seen PVZ bulldog. I don't think that's what... Oh! It is for Reaver. It's for Zealot Reaver. With no Stargate. You go to... You, you go to Port Corsair in the other two games, but the game you get Reavers, it's like, no, it's fine. He's now intimidated by my Corsair presence, that I don't actually have to make Corsairs anymore. It's going to be okay. Uh, these units are not going to get across the bridge. He should, he can take out this base, and he should if he realizes it's there, but no, don't do it. Don't do a fold. 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 You need to have these units pretend to be Corsairs for when the Reaver comes out. Heck yeah, there's the plus one attack. I don't see any mutalisks yet. Oh, there we go. There's some mutalisks. He has a lot of extra money, though. Uh, he ran out. And... Um... Uh... 
Um, okay. <laughs> oh, fold. He thought he was gonna be so fancy. He thought he was gonna be so fancy, like doing some weird attack. And then loading up some units in the shuttle to keep them alive. God, I, I was kind of right, though. That was... That was essentially a PVZ Bulldog. He was just gonna elevator units in to try to avoid the front. And bust. But then it didn't work because he went mutalisks. Oh man, what are you gonna do with this Reaver? Well, the Reaver will kill all this, the uh, Lings. But he doesn't have any anti-air. He has absolutely no anti-air. And these Reavers might as well be buildings here. It's like the Reavers have been positioned outside of cannon range, so they die. Even though they have a lot of hit points and it's not that many mutalisks. Oh boy. Making another shuttle. The shuttle, it's gonna get immediately scourged, so it doesn't matter if it actually manages to get out. Oh, the scourge is coming back. The scourge is coming back. No, no. The scourge is gonna be there. And oh, only one of them hit, but they're all chasing the shuttle. The shuttle with speed. He got speed for his shuttle because he had nothing else to spend money on, I guess. Maybe like Corsairs. All right. So, well, that sure was interesting. But uh, Fold really can't do too much fancy micro with his probes now. He is going to try to attack here. Why did you? <laughs> like the shuttle was about to die, so let's pick up an extra zealot. All right. Good game. Good game from Fold. But Predator's gonna be able to take it, and Poland goes up two to zero in the nation war.